a dream turned into a tragic reality and startling discovery. A close friend of the Smith Mountain Lake drowning victim, Harrison Martinez, tells 10 News it was a dream that led her to finding the 25-year-old's body. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh spoke to her today about what she saw that told her something was wrong. 25-year-old Harrison Martinez was found dead Monday, drowning in Smith Mountain Lake. Um, I'm actually the one who found him. Really? Yeah. Close friend Misty Alegria says she woke up after an unusual dream and knew something was wrong. It's weird. So in like Hispanic culture, so when you dream about somebody, it's like because either something is wrong, you have to call them, you know, make sure they're okay. And I dreamed about him and I never, never dreamed about him ever. She says it was her dream that led her to where she found Harrison's body. I know we were we were trying to get like kind of over there because there was a party happening over there, like a wedding that we were supposed to go to together. And I knew he couldn't swim, so I had to swim us across. And then I don't know, I just I just kind of knew he was he was in there. She says the discovery sent her into shock. I told him I was like he's he's right there. You know, I just I pointed at him when he was there and he and the other guy came and and saw him and he was like, "Yeah." And he was the one who called the rescue team. They were like, "Hey, he's he's here." And and that's kind of when they like told us that we couldn't be there. A tragic personal loss. She says Harrison was a light in her life. Harrison was always saying jokes all the time. He was always trying to bring a smile on everybody's faces. He, um, him whenever I was feeling down, I know he was always there for me when I needed to talk to someone about anything. While the circumstances surrounding his death are still being investigated, the Franklin County Sheriff's Department says it does appear to be accidental, but they're still waiting on an official autopsy report. Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.